if we were to turn Hook Supernatural bent to our own good. How's that, Mr. Marins? We'll never be pirates until we've done away with Peter Pan. But what if Captain Hook were made to believe Peter Pan could never perish? I say, if Hook thought he could never do away with Peter Pan, we'd be through with this dock walloping in Neverland. And, and, and set sail for the Spanish vein on the first Northeaster. Oh, the captain would thank us. Tonight, me hearties, we three shall immortalize Peter Pan. It's a bright notion using Tinkerbell for pan bait, don't you know? But how can we be sure that DC Denise Stinker Tinkerbell would come through this way? Because her little bewitchery takes it to the fair every seventh Friday. A burst! Oh, shush, 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 shush. <laughs> the lightning nymph. Twenty points to larboard! Mr. Mullins. Good evening, mademoiselle. <laughs> Gentleman Starkey here. Allow me to assist. My magic pouch! Give me that, you little nose. Leave me alone. To be left alone is the long and short of what we come to offer you, Missy. This is our plan. We fake up a trap that appears so deadly, only a dredgy could escape it. You bring Pan, we bring Hook, we spring the trap. Capturing Peter Pan? Ending his life? Never! No, dear nymph, Pan escapes alive! And Hook is convinced the boy's immortal. He gives up his bloody pursuit of the scallywag. If we no longer have to chase Peter Pan and his ghastly infantile friends, we can leave Neverland and its rotten reptile and get back to plundering the main like proper pirates! No more Captain Hook, you say? Yes. Yeah. No more pirate stories for Peter to delight Wendy with? Hmm. Truth be known, we'll do the doop and winter without your help, lass. You'll simply be the bait. No. I'll help you. Unhand her, Mr. Mullins. I'll save you, Jake. Don't put me down, you big lummox. This is supposed to look like a kidnapping. Oh, uh, right. Do I have to kidnap myself? Funny enough, I'll have to stop you, deep sea dunderhead! Oh, ouch! Watch it! Sorry, Missy. Draw and quarter him, men! Don't put a scratch on the scallywag. We need him to appear immortal for Hook. And the end for you, Pan! Oh. I understand your plan, Mr. Mullen. But does that idiot both of understand? Belay that, you no strand Nenonecker! Cut your hair on the lad's skull and you'll scupper up plan! <laughs> Unhand Tinkerbell this instant! Or we'll all be eaten by that giant grizzly bear! Belay the bear! Where? Bear! Oh, bear. Oh, no, no, bear. <laughs> Give me back my sack, if. <laughs> Pathetic pirates are dumber than the day is long! You certainly are the poorest excuse for pirates. Oh! Tar your god, you wee wench. I'm in charge of this fake it up. When Pan gets home and discovers Tink missing from the bag. What could have happened to Tinkerbell, Peter? Nibs, you take Wendy and the boys and cover every inch of the path from the small Monday Island Fair. I'll sneak aboard the Jolly Roger. Oh, Synchronous fortune. My horoscope divulges the reign of good fate about to befall me, starting at sunrise tomorrow. Run out long Tom, to starboard! Oh, Captain, my Captain, it's tonight is your lucky night. Now! Why, me? if you've been peeking at my horoscope chart, I'll cleave you hair to heel. Oh, no, sir. Not horoscope. Telescope. The luck I speak of is a gander off starboard. Gadzooks. What is Pan's nymph doing shackled to Cookson's pie tin? 
in the middle of Quicksand Cove? Oh, 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 just a little plan to rid this place of Pan once and for all. When he tries to rescue her, Pan will take a bluster from young Jokes as nose and back in here. Pan, ho! When he points the starboard and coming fast. Help! Help! Tink! If this cleave cannonball and chain does the trick, Master Jukes, I'll let you pilot for Roger, blame Marlin spikes all the way to the Spanish maze. Ready yourself, Starkey. <laughs> As gone as the guest of honor of the beast. He hasn't fallen yet, lad. We'll keep a short eye, Captain. I'm sure he'll fall any minute. Now, Starkey. Now he's scuppered men. Sunk like an anchor in quicksand cove. Phew. That was close. Never won better, sir. Whoa, Captain. Looks like that boy's got more lives than a scullery cat. Out, Bob, hammer and tong. The hellion's alive. And I saw him scuffered below the quicksand. Now, you don't suppose the eternal youth is immortal, do you, Captain? Ah, immortal. Well, that is, given the way you never seem to be able to size him for a pine box. He escapes only because my lucky scars are not as yet in full harmonious alignment. Oh, the days I've wasted not consulting the stars, Mr. Smee. It's all here. Anything a man does not fully grasp can be explained by the hidden fates. I await their disclosure and will act accordingly. My astrological chart says with my moon in Saturn, Zuntet, watch! What is that triangular fire of stop? I didn't want to alarm the crew, sir. That's just the dry cornered fire of the Neverland Seers. The Neverland Seers? I get three magic makers that gather under the full moon to cousin the future and the like. Take me ashore! Okay, you two, he's on his way. Um, uh, uh, are you sure this is going to work? Just say everything we planned, and Hook will be convinced that Peter is immortal. You wait here, Mullins. I'll call if I need you. Aye, aye, Captain. Captain Hook's on his way. I shortcut him through the cabin. Starboard, starboard, huge and carboard, anchors weighed when leaving harbor. Cows and cowbells, you three are about as scary as a pack of butterflies. Starboard, starboard, huge and carboard, anchors weighed when leaving harbor. The child's own winches. Who dares desecrate the ground of the Neverland here? <clears throat> My name is Captain James Hook. Of the ship, the Jolly Roger. You know me. We know all, see all, and give you a good deal. Come now, Kinosa. You wish to know how and when you may put an end to Peter Pan. Remarkable. By air, on land, or in the sea, man can never suffer you. I? Ah! When waters rise to crash and spill from Kids Creek shores or Spyglass Hill, when old men's jobs by land are taken, then Pan's life will be forsaken. And when the captain's sea has gone, Peter Pan shall die anon. Only when those three events occur will Peter Pan ever be gone. But, but, the water rising and spilling over the top of Spyglass Hill, boys taking over old men's jobs, the sea vanishing, 
Those things will never come to pass. Peter Pan is immortal. I spent an eternity in the futile hope of destroying him. I wasted time, and now doth time waste me. For now hath time made me his numbering clock. My thoughts are minutes. <laughs> For Peter Pan is immortal. I'm a little bird that is broken out of the egg, but I'm not immortal. But Captain Hook thinks the only way your life will end is when waters rise to crash and spill from Kids Creek Shores or Spyglass Hill. When all men's jobs by lads are taken, then Peter's life will be forsaken. And when the captain's sea has gone, Peter Pan shall die. Anon. Then I'll just have to persuade him I'm not immortal. But why, Peter? Without Hook, there'll be no danger in Neverland. What fun is a safe Neverland? My horoscope says this is my lucky day. I want to be under full sail by high noon. Keep the at it, it's me. I'm after taking one final sightsee of this forsaken island from a top spyglass hill. Aye, oh, Captain, and a goodly last look, I hope it is, too. A three witches' prophecy appears to have worked wonders for the captain's demeanor. Yes, it will for our coffers. When we're pillaging on the Spanish main with no brown guard slump gullion to distract the captain from his pirating duties. So that's their game. If Hook believes that prophecy, then to keep him here, I'll have to make it come to pass. Soon you'll be aiming your business into the hulls of rich sailing vessels, my precious long Tom. Immortal or not, look will cop you over the cat stand for sneaking aboard, Pan. I'm not afraid of your sword, Jukes. I can't be killed. Ah! Help us in, me! the Roger at Kids Creek to board provision. Captain Hook, uh, is that you? Who else would it be, you non-cogitating, clapper-dutton, lob-lolly, gaw-gaw? Voice anchor at post Aye, aye, Captain. Now for some real fun. <laughs> Didn't your mothers ever tell you it's the height of bad form to leave without saying goodbye? Give us back our grub, you rock rat. With pleasure. Don't get into a rip, man. It's not worth it. He can't be scuppered. Leastwise, not until the prophecy is fulfilled, eh, Mullins? Well, it's about to come true before your eyes. I'm from Dianetis. Captain, be climbing rigging over this to do. You're the robber! Who did this captain away? That's the bill's donkey. We are saving his carcass from the main last all the way to the main! <laughs> 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 captain, Captain, I'm the taxi crew. He said he's no more immortal. What are you babbling about? Was drawing water from Kid Creek and... <laughs> Overgrown oxymoron. The prophecy is unwinding. Pan's immortality is ending. When the waters rise to crash and spill from Kids 
creek shores or a spyglass hill. This is it. Jab, Sooks, who's saving the ship? It's Dukes, manning the deck single-handed. When all men's jobs by land are taken, then Pan's life will be forsaken. Zoomness! The third part of the prophecy has happened. And when the Captain C has gone, Peter Pan shall die anon. But Captain, your C not gone. It be beautiful as ever. Not that C, you lummox. My C. The Captain's C is gone. Looks like your horoscope was right, Captain Codfish. Today is your lucky day. Well, I'll be kept. You're not immortal anymore, are you? You play game of slabbity galleon. Not immortal anymore, Hook. But why should I worry about that? When there isn't a pirate in the land who could put me under. Now that he's mortal again, I'll take the joy of making ribbon of his young eyes. <laughs> Welcome back, Admiral 